I'm Laura Skates and I'm a UWA PhD student supported by Kings Park and Botanic Gardens. So I study the nutrition of carnivorous plants in their natural habitats to try and get a better understanding of their ecology. A lot of people when they think about carnivorous plants might imagine something like Audrey II from uh, Little Shop of Horrors or the Day of the Triffids or even uh, Super Mario's Piranha Plants. Um, but in reality these plants are actually really beautiful native plants that we have right here in Western Australia. The Albany Pitcher Plant is really special because it's endemic to the south coast of Western Australia which means it only occurs there naturally and nowhere else in the world. The Pitcher Plant has a trap that it's like, kind of like a little cup that insects will climb up the side and then fall in to the pitcher into a pool of digestive juices. Uh, the plant then breaks down and digests the prey and absorbs its nutrients. We also have in Western Australia the world's greatest diversity of Drosera um, or the sundews. And if you've been on a bushwalk anywhere in the southwest or up in the Kimberley region as well, you've probably seen one of these sundews. Um, they're really beautiful plants. You can see that they can sparkle in the sunlight because of their sticky, dewy leaves. The way that these plants work uh, to catch their prey is that they have a trap that's kind of like a little sun shape. Uh, and what will happen is that when an insect flies in and lands in the middle of the uh, trap, the sticky tentacles will wrap around the prey. Uh, and then same with the Albany pitcher plant, the plant releases digestive enzymes, breaks down the prey and absorbs the nutrients. Charles Darwin did some of the very first experiments on carnivorous plants in his glass house in England. Um, and he actually provided the first published scientific evidence in this book, Insectivorous Plants, where he looked at a lot of different carnivorous plant species, but particularly the Drosera or the Sundew. So my research kind of follows along this path to figure out how much these plants actually benefit from the nitrogen that they get from prey. And you can see here that these plants have actually caught some insects that they're going to benefit from nutritionally. I love carnivorous plants because they're such remarkable organisms. Uh, they really defy what we think of plants normally doing, um, but they're also really beautiful and stunning and it's just amazing that we have so many here in WA. Show us your green heart. Next time you're out in the bush and you see one of these amazing plants, take a moment to appreciate it, take lots of photos, but remember to keep it happy in its habitat. And if you want to grow them at home, there's lots of specialist nurseries where you can get one. Thanks for watching.